Hello, Midnight Thinkers, and welcome back to Midnight Thoughts. Today, we will discover how to overcome growth's predictable crises. Today, we will embrace the founder's mindset in order to turn growth challenges into opportunities and propel your company's success. Achieving and maintaining a competitive edge in today's ever-changing business world requires more than just new products and services. It requires a mindset rooted in resilience, adaptability, and unwavering dedication. This is where the founder's mentality comes into play, encompassing the distinct characteristics that enable CEOs to take their businesses to new heights. It is a powerful combination of insurgent mission, frontline obsession, and an owner's mindset, resulting in a powerhouse of innovation and operational excellence. In this video, we'll look at just a few essential components of this philosophy, specifically how to unlock sustainable growth by embracing the founder's mentality and how to overcome growth challenges while maintaining this critical mindset for long-term success. 1. Adopting the founder's mindset. Sustainable and successful growth demands more than simply a good business plan. It necessitates a deeply ingrained attitude that promotes creativity, adaptability, and an unwavering commitment to quality. The founder's mentality is a powerful energy demonstrated by great firm founders that propels businesses to extraordinary heights. It's the drive and determination that come with a daring mission to disrupt industries and reach underrepresented clients. There's more to it than just profit. It's about developing a distinct identity and purpose that go beyond monetary aims. Consider IKEA's dedication to making beautiful design accessible or Google's goal of organizing the world's knowledge. It's not just about the big picture. It's also about worrying over the specifics. Successful entrepreneurs fascinate with the front lines, which pervades the firm culture as it evolves. It all comes down to empowering workers on the ground, collecting feedback, and anticipating customer demands. Consider M.S. Oberoi's attention to detail in his hotels or Toyota's emphasis on the factory floor. Then there's the owner's perspective to consider. This entails thinking and acting like a business owner, with a heavy emphasis on cost, a preference for action, and a dislike for bureaucracy. Organizations like AB InBev, known for their action-oriented attitude and cost-conscious culture, exemplify this approach. Maintaining this mindset is critical for businesses of all ages and sizes, not just the young. The founder's mentality is revolutionary, whether you're establishing these attributes from the bottom up or rediscovering them in an established business. You don't need a comprehensive culture revolution. Instead, embrace practical strategies to accomplish long-term growth. Companies can measure their success on two dimensions. Internal strength, which refers to the founder's thinking, and external strength, which encompasses the advantages gained as the company grows in size and market power. Companies can use this guidance to go from insurgents with a high founder's attitude but low scale to attaining scale insurgency, where they get the best of both worlds. Two. Maintaining the founder's mindset in order to achieve long-term success. As businesses grow, they eventually face three predicted crises, overload, stalling, and free fall, each with the potential to significantly hinder progress. Let us begin by taking a deeper look at each of these situations. During the high growth period, overburdened processes overpower the founder's mentality. It is difficult for businesses to preserve their founder's mentality in the face of complexity, putting employee and customer pleasure at risk. Consider the situation of Norwegian Cruise Line, where rapid expansion without adequate foundational support resulted in considerable operational issues. Stall out denotes a period of inactivity during which bureaucracy stifles innovation. This impacts two-thirds of large corporations, causing firms to lose momentum when internal instability sets in, reducing consumer satisfaction and financial performance. An outmoded company concept causes a free fall, which is a rapid drop. External changes frequently precipitate a free fall, exacerbating the lack of internal preparedness and resulting in a significant fall in performance and value. These crises account for 80% of large value variations in companies, with the greatest consequences coming during the high growth, journey north, phase and the perilous, free fall, phase. Companies must deal with these obstacles while also dealing with the westward winds, internal hurdles that weaken the founder's mentality during times of overburden. This includes issues such as the founder's failure to adapt to the company's growth, a disconnect from frontline workers, a lack of responsibility, and revenues outpacing talent development. 
On the other hand, southward winds are forces that stifle expansion in existing firms, resulting in increasing complexity, organizational dysfunction, a disconnected customer experience, and a reduced mission. Navigating these challenging times successfully isn't just about survival. It's also an invaluable chance for value creation and long-term growth. In summary, firms that want to survive in today's business environment must recognize and overcome the hurdles of growth while preserving a strong founder's attitude. Companies can transform potential problems into catalysts for success and enduring value by negotiating crises of overload, stall out, and free fall with resilience and agility and by retaining the founder's thinking at the center of their operations. As a final note, regardless of a company's size or age, adopting and maintaining a founder's mentality is critical to unlocking sustained and profitable growth. This mindset combines an insurgent mission, a frontline obsession, and an owner's perspective to create a resilient, innovative, and efficient operational structure. Overload, stalling, and free fall are unavoidable as a company grows, but keeping the founder's mindset helps navigate these difficult times, transforming potential hazards into opportunities for success. When you embrace this transformative mentality, you set the scene for ongoing growth and long-term value. Finally, Chris Zook and James Allen's The Founder's Mentality presents a roadmap for both aspiring entrepreneurs and seasoned business leaders to rediscover the essence of success. Let these ideas of insurgency, frontline obsession, and owner mindset echo in your pursuit of organizational greatness as we close the chapter on this enlightening summary. If you enjoyed this investigation of entrepreneurial knowledge, please remember to like, share, and subscribe to Midnight Thoughts for more deep book summaries. Your participation strengthens our commitment to providing you with intellectual nutrition, and we look forward to continuing this journey of discovery with you. Join us in the ever-expanding world of Midnight Thoughts, where the founder's mentality meets modern ideas. May the lessons from this book serve as guiding stars as you navigate the entrepreneurial terrain propelling you to long-term success. Stay inspired, stay informed, and keep those midnight thoughts alive till our next intellectual journey. Midnight Thoughts is here, signing off.